Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? And for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday, and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like the video for the YouTube algorithm as well. And join the Mayday family. Really consider joining our family. So Rihanna is now a billionaire. Forbes announced this on Wednesday that Rihanna is now part of the Billionaires Club. So she's so far out, we can't even see her anymore, okay? <laughs> she is, I mean, honestly, this is amazing news. I'm so happy because I've always liked Rihanna. One of the very, very few people that I can say is an actual self-made millionaire. For those of you that, are, that don't know, Rihanna actually almost went bankrupt in 2009 due to an accountant that she was working with, just giving her really bad advice about how to invest her money. She went from having $10 million in cash to $2 million in cash, literally facing bankruptcy. So she had to actually go to court and sued that particular accountant. She actually had to go to court. She ended up suing that particular accountant. She did end up winning, but nonetheless, that caused the real challenge. In, in her finances and her overall wealth and status. So from there in 2009 to where we are now in 2021, that just goes to show how huge of a, of a moment this is and just how huge of a news this is. She's continued to work really, really hard. She's continued to build new businesses and expand her brand. And now Rihanna is not only part of the Billionaires Club, so she's, she's a billionaire, but she also owns 50% stake in her beauty, Fenty Beauty business. So she owns 50%. She's kept that ownership, 50% ownership of it, which for those of you that might not know, that is huge, huge. Ownership is key. And I think more and more celebrities, more and more people in general, especially women, are coming to realize that it's not the smartest move to sell ownership of your company or completely sell your company. The smartest move is to keep at least half ownership, if not majority ownership. This has played a huge role in Rihanna's wealth. To be honest, she owns 50% of a company that's worth billions of dollars, a company that's worth a lot of money. So having ownership in that, in that type of a, a company, it, you know, it will skyrocket your overall value, your overall wealth, and your overall worth. So that is amazing. It's a huge accomplishment. Anna is actually the richest female entertainer out there, second only to Oprah Winfrey. And I'm like, my, my mind is blown because Rihanna is only 33 years old. So by the time that she's Oprah Winfrey's age, she would have most likely surpassed even Oprah Winfrey because right now the only person ahead of Rihanna is Oprah herself. So it's so amazing. This is such an amazing accomplishment. I'm truly, truly happy. Uh, and, 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 and from a psychological perspective and a mental health perspective, Rihanna has truly opened the door to not only women, uh, for women to, to be able to succeed and to be able to learn from her, but also African-American women, Black women. And we're seeing a lot of Black women thriving, and she's just not only thriving, but she, she's milestones ahead. So right now, she's worth $1.7 billion. That's insanity, right? So she's not only a billionaire, she's catapulted way past that that landmark because she's self-made we don't have to worry about uh Forbes coming back and resending her billionaire status <laughs> much like they had to do with Kylie uh which was so embarrassing for Kylie so I don't even know what Kylie is at this point but here we have a true self-made billionaire and not only that she's black which makes me very very happy and so you know, young people are able to look up to her. Young people are able to emulate her. And better yet, we've really been able to go along with her 
in her journey, you know, and she started out in the entertainment industry, almost went bankrupt and crawled her way back up from there. And now she's the richest woman, richest paid woman within the entertainment industry, second only to Oprah Winfrey. That's nuts. Like, I, I can't even... Like, it doesn't matter how often I say it, it still so unbelievable. And now Rihanna has actually has expanded her brand yet again to include male. So she's including males as far as her skincare products goes. She wants to include everyone. And inclusivity is not only key, especially during these times, but also when you start including more and more people, that's more and more money. So, because that's more people that, that you're that you're making products for and more people that are going to be able to buy your products. So she's going to be even richer, which is awesome. And not only that, she's providing a service that's much needed. So she's actually solving a problem while she's uh, on her way to even more and more riches. So she owns a good amount of stake in her companies. I mean, this, this young woman has done really, really, really well. And I'm just excited to see what she's going to choose to do next, because at this point, she doesn't have to make any more music. And if I were her, I wouldn't make any more music either. I'd be, you know, I'd be done with that just because that industry is so cut, cutthroat. She might, you know, if she wants to express her creativity or let something out, she might put out a song here and there. But I, I don't really see that happening because she's just way past, she's just way past that level at this point. So I'm sad that we won't, like, there's not likely that we'll be getting another album or another song from her, but I'm really, really excited for this next milestone. And this is just such an amazing accomplishment. She's truly someone that I personally look up to, and I'm excited to have someone that I can look at, that I can actually get inspired by. So congratulations, Rihanna. Oh my gosh, we're trying to get to where you're at, okay? And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like the video for the YouTube algorithm as well. And join the Mayday family. Really consider joining our family. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.